already need to. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do some of these reviews that I promised you a while ago. Uh, let me situate my camera and we'll be right back. Okay. ICR, red dot. Okay, so here we are. This is how, this is the, no, this ain't the one. Let's just jump into it. So here's your setup. Um, as you see, the score is zero zero already. Still, uh, her ICR, both people's ICR. This is the Colossal Showdown review. Just to let you guys know. Red Dot, FMJ Double Grip Strife with a Quick Draw FMJ and. Red dot. I'm getting, I'm getting Streaks are not allowed. Gear is not allowed. So let me just go over the review. Um, it was a very good play. Uh, getting first blood in a game is very, very important. I'm going to actually just keep that muted. Um, so Cowboy... Uh, I might. I like this song. No, we'll keep that muted. So I, Cowboy did really good in this game, they were. but the spawns were freaky. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spoiler alert. This is a review. GG ends up winning this game. Uh, See, I like Fifteen I like to six I this care. round. Once you get the spawns on this new whatever is really freaky. Um, they like to spawn orange house. Now remember, people get to pick the maps. So this is one I believe Cowboy picked. Um... Not quite sure what happened there. But let's fast forward. That's fine. Um, as you see, seven to two. Um, very quickly got out of hand, but then I believe he started to make a little bit of a comeback. He started playing slower, which had helped him. Thirteen to five or three right now. Um, remember the score ended 15 to 6. She's a laser. She lasered. Um, that was an unfortunate spawn. She was not ready for this one. Uh, it's weird how the spawn is on this game. But she's not ready for this one either. And I think he might have heard her. You guys go ahead and yeah. go to the next one. He knew, he peeks it slow, gets the kill here. Panic knives. Now, you see where she spawned. She's seen him. I think, yeah, I don't know how he got the kill, but whatever. It ends right here, 15-6. We go on to slums. Um, he picked a vapor. Let me fast forward. There's the setup. Not a very good class for this map. You have a Vapor with Elo, Fast Mag, Stock 2, um, Red Dot, FMJ, Quick Draw Strife. Uh, just not a very good. He gets. I don't want to say 
dominated, but he gets dominated on this map. Um, this was the first game we switched it up. Um, this was the guinea pig round. Everyone's okay with going first, knowing that we might change things, and we did. Round three starts. We don't have a score limit anymore on round three because she beats him in this this round as well, 15 to six again. She's on a roll. Uh, she's just going nuts. Um, but she beats him again, and. He can't even come back in round three with a score limit, so we turned score limit off. So he can, anyone can come back. Um, so we'll go ahead and fast forward some of this. Um, it was a it was a fun match, a really fun match. Maybe my internet wants to work. His aim, yeah, that's this is actually the part I wanted to jump to. His, uh, watch this aim. No offense, cowboy. Never reloaded. Still gets the kill, but watch this. I thought, oh, you know, he'll get this rebound kill. She's seen him right there. Look at, way too quick for him. Um, seven to one, just getting annihilated, and of course he comes back. I'm not sure how or when. Just go and rewatch it. This is just a review to let you know that GG also won round two. We move on to round three. We went the firing range, and now it's all out. You can use whatever the fuck you want. Um. I'm not going to say he cheated, but he's using acoustic sensor, which really helped him. Um, knowing where your opponent is, obviously, it's not banned, so use it. Um, Cowboy actually did not, didn't do too bad. He actually wins round three. What's his score? I don't remember the score, though. Um... 12 to 8, is that what it is? Yeah, he wins 12 to 8, which put him in a good spot for round 2, so it's good that he won, it really is, it's good that he won round 3 to put him in a better spot, and we'll move on to Madden and Ethan, um, another good tournament matchup here, um, some goofy guns, Ethan ain't used to this. It is literally an SDM with extended mag and high cal. So I believe he was lagging in the beginning. So we'll we'll skip that match. Yeah, we didn't want no lag. This is what happens when you play at my house, though. When we have multiple people playing, you're gonna end up lagging. Um, Ethan looks like he got the first blood. Uh, let's get back to that. Gotta always watch first blood. It's really important. Um, I think it was a pretty, pretty good kill too. I'm just, I was excited for this match as you could tell. So obviously they're playing on frequency. Yep, there it is. Gets that. Once you get the first kill or death, now you know it's game on. Uh, depending on how quickly you get the first blood is how the other opponent's going to feel. You know, if you fucking, if you didn't even get a shot off on him and he killed you, you're starting to get nervous right away. Um, round one ends with Mad winning seven to three. It was a little bit of a slow, as you as you can see, a slow match, just with this gun setup and map. 
Um, Yeah, as you see, what the hell? Whoa, there's a chat. I don't know, I must read that. Uh oh. It <laughs> lagged. Um, yeah. So, 7 to 3, Ethan lose first round. We move on to the second. I miss Caleb. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a SOG matchup. Yeah, we'll watch First Blood here. Um, so on board with Mad right away. He's got the epic version, but do you see this attachments? That's what it is. He hates the SOG. That's why he's camping already. He's not a big fan of it. Um, Hold on. I have to change it. So. Slow first blood. But there it is. This camps the whole time. Gets the kill. We move on. Um, Mad wins this game. It's kind of close. Um, again, if you actually want to watch the match. Just go and watch it. They're all in the playlist, so. No matter what gun is in his hands, he's good. So, he ends up winning 12 to 10, like I said. Um, putting him in a good spot to not get crushed in round three, so. You know. As long as you keep winning the rounds, you're going to win. Clearly. Um, like I said, round three is the... Oh God, is the major one. Badass. You can always come back. Um, so here we are. This is an all-out. I, th I really thought Mad Russian was going to rage. Or make Ethan rage. He's running a, a rampage, rampage, rampage with max load hybrid mag and a cordite rapid fire with an extended mag. <clears throat> so, again, um, if you want to watch the match, go watch it. Ethan loses round three, knocking him into the loser bracket. But that's totally fine. Loser bracket doesn't mean anything. Just means you can't lose again. Um, so, uh, the total score was 27 and 19. And I should have said, Girl Guns got 38, Wade had 24. So the final score between Matt and Ethan was 27 to 19. It's a kill race. So let's move on to Alex and Megan. Um, here we go. Uh, whoops. So this matchup was pretty good. Um, low scoring, but that's what I figured. Low scoring, good game. The only issue I seen was the map choices. So you see they're running an ABR with an Elux and a Mag. Quick draw, grip, and stock 2. Um, definitely... Not really on either either side. 
Uh, it's, it's just a gun that I believe Megan wanted to use. Or Alex, I can't. I think she picked first. Um, it's a very close game, very long match. Uh, again, you want to watch it? Go watch it. We'll watch First Blood here. I think it still takes a while for First Blood. They circle the map so many times on here. Oh. Not sure. Yeah, I think Alex gets it right here. She might have hurt her when she shot. I don't remember. And I don't know what that was. I'll take it, dude. Your sniper rifle. Um, but anyway, Alex loses. She might have got first blood, but she loses six to five. Oh, God, it's that pure end. Oh, well. I'll live with it. Um. Let's get down to the final seconds here. It was pretty close, honestly. So you're at four to two right now. To two minutes left, you know it's anyone's game. Um, they both had their specialist out, and this is what was fun. So you get the specialist out. Somebody yeah, your pulls your it here. Really high. Somebody pulls their specialist specialist out. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, Alex pulled hers out. So she almost, yep, there it is. Four to three. Uh, um, she could have got this kill, but she didn't know spawn. And she gets killed instantly, five, three. Well, then Megan, I'm pretty sure, rebounds with hers. She's like, you know what? You pulled yours out. I'll show you what I can do. Here we go. You watch this. She gets the kill, I think, so right we're gonna here. Weaken Boom. This guy, right? See, now you're fighting for time, so you can't just not spawn in with the Annihilator, which is honestly a pretty good call. As you see, she's still wasting time, but she shouldn't have. She needed to spawn in, get the kill. I know it's an Annihilator, but you needed to do it. 30 seconds remaining. At this point, she can't. All I have to do is delay, delay your respawn. Unless you want more kills. Wins it six to five. Right, Not sure how she got that kill. But then we move on to this next setup. Not sure what they're thinking. Now remember everyone, one person picks gun first map and oh, specialist and the second person picks the map. Um Are you so, fucking kidding me? Sog or hmm. Icebreaker. What a match. Um, not sure exactly what was going on. I'm not sure why we picked this map. Let's watch First Blood. There it is, getting ready. Rotates around, might have been a mistake. I don't remember, remember. But they messed with each other. See, yep. She expected it, gets the kill. First Blood. Fast mags, grip, quick draw, stock two. Uh, Megan wins this seven to four. Slow match again. Um, really not much to see on this one. There was grab slam, which was different, which is good. I like seeing grab slams. Those are quick and easy, and usually a easy kill. Um, now the next round was crazy. Okay, we have one person running high cal FMJ2 rampart with a with a Mog 12. Not sure that's a good choice, but the gun is. 
then we have the other one running a Maddox with your ELO quick draw two and stock. The the game actually ends really close, three to four. I I don't know what it's doing. It it's crazy, really. Um, it, it really is, but it's not like stopping my broadcast or anything. Let's watch first blood. I'm pretty sure, weird. pretty sure Megan got it. Um, cause again, Rampart's good. Don't get me wrong, but close range engagements, that, that Maddox should win every time. Whoops. So, let's see. I don't remember how the first blow went down on this game. Um, we're probably not going to watch all this clearly. Oh, okay. Just got to remember, if you want to watch it, go watch it. But the match ends 3-4 in Megan's favor. Here it is. Bam! Not even, I think it was sure that like maybe 50 hell. We'll go ahead and move on to uh, Kayla's match here. But the final score for Megan and Alex uh, Megan had 17 and Alex had 12. So, pretty good matchup there. Um, let's watch this one. Now, on behalf of Sean, he is a hardcore player, so. But, you know, shooting, shooting to me. Uh, I should be okay. Yeah. We're playing uh, on firing range with a SOG. <clears throat> Pretty good matchup. Pretty good. These two players are aren't bad. Aren't bad. I like Caleb. I don't know what ever happened to him. Sorry guys, won't be able to see him for a while. Caleb, if you watch this, just know I love you, buddy. Hope to see you again. Don't be a fucking loser. Um, we see. I'm trying to at least weaken him. Uh, this match ends with Caleb. Caleb soundhorning there gets the kill with the Ma or the Mozu. Um, he ran wins first round, fifteen to eight. Come on. Um, yeah, he's right there. Pretty good matchup, like I said. Don't mind her in the back. She's straight. Go, 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 dude, go. Um, here, he's out, he's out. We'll go on the round two here to get this moving on. Uh, Sean likes the sniper rifle, so he wanted to use a outlaw rapid fire quick drill. Which is fine, it's fun. Um, but he loses. Usually when the player picks the gun, usually they're gonna win. I I I thought, but that's not how it's really turning out to be. Um I don't think yeah, Megan's the only one who actually Wow, but they both suck. Let me look. Yeah. Megan's the only one that won that had not chosen in round two. Um, so round one, I pick the top player on my bracket, picks it, um, no, that's right, yeah, Megan won game one, 
and she didn't pick the gun. Alex did. She's the only player to actually be able to beat them with their own setup that they wanted to use. She's the only player that did that. Um, anyway, <laughs> this round ends 13 to 5. Um, pretty good matchup. We'll go ahead into game 3. Um, Caleb had a good good run. Uh, I hate to see him have to forfeit the next round. The dude's an animal. Absolute animal. Um, he... He just beats the hell out of him. There's no other way to put it at this point. He beats Sean in this game 30-8. to eight. Absolutely incredible. He would hold first seed if he's still in this tournament. Uh, again, I'm going to let it go for a little bit. And see what happens. Um, however, I have a feeling that he won't be in it anymore. I hope he stays in Colossal. I hope he does some good stuff. It's just... It's not good. It's not good. I miss him. He should know that. But... Um, so anyway, he wins 58 to 21 total. He would hold first seed. And let me get into the next round. Winner's bracket. Caleb would go against Mad Russian. He's got first seed. He picks gun first. Uh, Girl Guns would face Megan in the winner's bracket. And for the loser's bracket, you would have, it looks like, uh, Wade versus Ethan. Wade would hold first seed in the loser bracket. And then you have Sean versus Alex. However, Sean already forfeited the game. He doesn't like court. Whatever. He quits. Alex will just have to move on with a forfeit. I'm not playing that stupid game anymore. As long as you guys fucking sign up for the tournament and play now, I don't care. If you want to bitch out midway, if you lost... At least leave when you lost. Don't be a bitch and leave when you win. You know, free game, free tournament. I should say. It's a free tournament. You win a prize. If you want to bitch about it, that's fine. Do whatever. That's on you. But just remember, when the prize is given out and you don't get it because you bitched out, sorry. You lose. I'm not waiting anymore, you guys, my viewers, you guys like this shit, so I'm just going to start bringing you some more. Sorry that half the team doesn't give a fuck about anyone's content and they want to leave, that's fine. Or delete the game, and they know they're in the fucking tournament, whatever, whatever you want. 
you know that's one of them they don't get the prize even if you're in second if you're supposed to play your grand final guess what you're not getting second place prize you're not even going to get third i'm just the people that's playing is going to get the prizes I have somebody right now that's in, should be top three, but if he doesn't get on, it's over. Um, he's going to get fourth. I'm going to just give him fourth. So, just be aware, more tournaments to come. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Again, this is just a review, so there's your next tournament, there's your next brackets. Um, I hope to see you soon. Um, if you subscribe, it'd be great. If you like these tournaments, I'll try to keep them coming with players that are actually active. I don't know how many I can find anymore. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Oh, and I forgot to do this so I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the video real quick um whoops I forgot to make my predictions so in a winner's bracket we have Caleb versus Mad well that's gonna be an easy one if Caleb doesn't get on when everyone else goes Mad's gonna win that either way if he does face Mad Russian, Caleb's losing. Um, whether it's a forfeit or Mad just wins, uh, that's my prediction. Um, GG versus Megan. Um, I'm going to assume GG's coming home with that one after the performance with her Call of Duty games late, lately. Um, she's just... Black Ops 4 is her game. There's no doubt. Uh, and then we move to the loser bracket. Which in general, let's, before we move on to that, Megan making it to the winner's bracket beating Alex puts her in a really good spot. So, it is good that Megan did win her match, moving her to the winner's bracket. Normally she's fighting from the loser's bracket right away. So, congratulations to Megan Go check her channel out, Queen Khaleesi. Should be in the description. I don't know. Don't yell at me if it ain't. Uh, in the loser bracket, we have Wade versus Ethan. Very simple. Ethan's taking that. He's part of my Call of Duty team. And if he doesn't take it, Ethan, I'll be mad at you. I'm voting for you. Um, Alex versus Sean. My dogs are going nuts. Alex versus Sean, that's real easy. It's his forfeit. Sean's forfeiting. He doesn't like court because I don't know why. But he's forfeiting that match. So he'll be moving to the loser's bracket eliminations. And Alex will be moving on with that. Very simple. All right, that's all I have to say. That's my predictions, and I'm sticking to it. Peace out, guys. What do you fucking want now?